So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I'll teach you how to create new and cool style of compositing animation with using After Effects and Blender. Okay, see guys, that's my really cool compositing. It's looking really good, right? And guys, that's really simple and best tutorial for beginners. So guys, now I teach you how I create this type of effect. So guys, one more time, play. Yeah, that's my compositing. Okay, so guys, stop and go to on Blender. And see guys, that's my Blender project. And guys, click on here. That's my final render preview. Yeah. See guys, that's my final render preview. With using beautiful shadow. Right. Okay, so guys, now go to on here. New project check. And guys, go to on After Effect. So guys, go to on File. And I create new project. Yeah. And guys, firstly, go to on here. Project and right click Import. And Import File. Guys, I have video clip. So select your clip and import. So guys, simple drag and drop on main comp like this. And guys, preview check. See guys, that's my simple video clip. Guys, you can download this clip link in description. And guys, now stop. Go to on back and guys go to on here. See guys, that's my tracker point. And guys, preview one more time. Yeah. See guys, that's my simple clip. Okay, so guys, stop. Go to on tracker. Here and guys zero frame and camera tracker check yeah and go to on advance and see guys click on here detail analysis check guys take little bit time for preview okay guys my tracking is finished see guys that's my tracking points and now guys select your tracking points like this yeah and guys right click guys see that's my set ground plane and origin check and one more time right click create new solid this one create solid and camera check yeah see guys that's my 3d camera and guys second one tracker solid okay so guys now go to on here preview and preview check yes see guys that's my tracker points tracker it's good okay so guys next one go to on blender guys my tracking is finished and guys stop go to back and guys see that's my tracker and guys go to on transform guys select your points and position scale and orientation and guys copy so press ctrl c so go to on blender and guys select your all assets and press delete key guys i'm use this time ae2 blender this one and see guys that's my great plane check yeah, that's my plane. Right? Okay, so guys, now go to on one more time. And guys, see that's my 3D camera. So transform, select position and orientation. So guys, copy. And guys, blender. So guys, create camera check. Yeah, see guys, that's my camera. Right? And tracker points. Okay, so guys, now little bit change guys frame. See guys, that's my camera and guys, it's starting default zero. So guys, shift layer starting from one second, one frame yeah, and press zero. Yeah. And guys, go to back and preview check. Yes. See guys, that's my framing. Okay. So guys, next one, all is good. And guys, this time I apply image like video. So guys, go to on camera here, select camera and camera check and background image. So guys, add image. So guys, go to one video clip. Open. Guys, import your clip. So, check. Yeah. And guys, see that my opacity 100% check. Go to zero frame. And guys, play. Yes. Okay. So guys, now a little bit change this time. Camera focal length. So guys, see that's my camera. And guys, double click on this camera. Select focal length. So guys copy and press OK. Go to on here Blender and guys click on here camera and see guys that's a focal length. So guys press Ctrl V enter. Yes. So guys one more time go to back and play. Yeah. See guys that's my simple tracker. Right. It's good. Okay. So guys next one. So guys now I apply animation. So guys see that's my end frame. I like 575. That's my last. 
See guys, that's my last frame. See, 574. And see guys, that's my 24 FPS. So guys, go to on Blender. And guys, go to on here. Frame rate, I like 24. Yes. And one more time, go to back and play. Okay, so guys, my tracking is good. And now, guys, you can create animation. So guys, stop. Guys, I create animation. And guys, so for animation, firstly, go to on here, circle. And increase circle size. So press S letter. Increase like this. Yeah. Yes. Guys, more, little bit. Okay, so guys, next one. I apply turtle animation. So guys, go to an import and FBX model. Guys, I have FBX model. Select and import. Yeah. See guys, that's my turtle. And guys, I increase scale size. So press S letter. Scale size increase like this. Yeah. This one. And guys, go to on object. And guys, apply all transform check. Yeah, that's it guys. Okay, so guys, now go to back and preview check. Yeah, see guys, that's my turtle animation. Okay, so guys, it's default stop on here. So guys, I create looping animation. For looping, guys, select your keys. Select. And guys, go to on here, dope sheet check. And guys, shift E check. And guys, see, that's my make cycle. Click. Yeah. And one more time. And guys, timeline check. Guys, go to back and preview check. Yeah. See guys, that's my simple looping animation. Looping. Okay, so guys, all is good. And now, guys, I create animation on this one. Circle path. So guys, select your here and create new collection check. Guys, select your circle. And guys, collection. Go to one here. Yeah. Okay, so guys, firstly, select your armature. This one, that's my rig. So guys, click on here. And guys, see that's my follow path check. Okay, so guys, see that's my target. So use Bezier curve. Yeah. And guys, see that's my follow curve check. And guys, animation path check. And guys, preview. Yeah. See guys, that's my circle path animation. Guys, you can change also speed. So guys, see that's my Bezier curve. Circle. And click on here. And see guys, that's my path animation. And guys, see that's my frame. I like, guys, take a 500. And guys, go to back and preview check. Yes. See guys, that's my simple animation. Right? It's looking really simple and good. Okay, so guys, next one. I apply texture for texture. So guys, select your turtle and shading. And see guys, that's my texture. So guys, import your texture. Import. And guys, see that's my texture. Import. And next one, guys, roughness. Roughness check. Yes. And guys, lastly, I apply normal map. Normal. Yes. See guys, that's my beautiful realistic texture. Right? It's good. And guys, go to on layout. So guys, press 0. See guys, that's my camera. And now, guys, select your Bezier curve. And guys, compositing is good. So guys, select a little bit up. Yeah. It's good. Yes. Okay, so guys, now you can change scale size. See guys, that's my... Scale size is too much smaller. So guys, select this one. And guys, select camera. And press Ctrl P. Ctrl P. And guys, object check. Yes. So guys, select your plane. And guys, S letter. You can also change this one scale size. Right? See, that's my scaling. Object scaling. And one more time. Preview. And go to back and play. Yes. See guys, that's my simple animation. Right? Guys, you can apply more turtles on this one clip. So, guys, this time, stop. Yeah, it's looking really good. See, guys, that's some beautiful animation. Okay, so, guys, now I apply more turtles. So, guys, go to File, Import. And, guys, see, that's my FBX model. So, select and import. Yeah. See, guys, that's my model. And now, guys, press S letter. Scale size check. Yes. 
and guys rotate your model like this rotation minus 90 enter and guys also change position like this yeah guys mode yeah and guys rotate little bit rotate like this yes good guys set your composition great okay so guys now select object and guys this time i apply all transform check and guys go to back and preview yeah beautiful guys right see that's my really cool composition okay so guys same select your keys and guys go to on dope sheet check and guys shift me and make cycle yeah timeline and one more time preview yeah see guys that's my really cool looping animation it's good yes good and guys don't overlap yeah guys you can change only this one position so select and select hierarchy and guys position change like this yes guys little bit smaller yeah and guys i apply same apply all transform check and one more time preview yeah much better okay so guys now i apply same texture on second one object so guys go to on shading and guys i apply same texture see guys that's my texture is missing so select your normal web texture yes that's it guys and guys preview yeah and click on here yes see guys that's my beautiful effect okay so guys next one you can apply more turtles so guys select your turtle and select hierarchy and duplicate so press ctrl c and v and guys change position like this go to on camera yes and guys i increase scale size increase yeah and preview yes and guys this time i apply all transform check yes and guys preview yeah it's looking really good see guys that's my compositing okay so guys now you can apply more last one so guys same select select hierarchy and duplicate go to on here and back yes and zero frame and guys scale size increase so guys out of frame scale size increase yes and guys go to on here object and all transform check yeah okay so guys now go to back and preview yes okay so guys my compositing is really good and now guys i apply lighting and shadow effect so guys for lighting i use this time sunlight this one sunlight and guys go to an up here guys see that's my lighting see guys that's my shadow effect so guys i apply lighting on here and rotate rotate like this and up yeah and guys see that's my sunlight and strength i like four yes and guys now i change render setting so guys click on here render and render engine i like cycle render and device gpu check yes and guys go to on here fill and see guys that's my transparent check transparent check it's good okay so guys go to on here yeah 24 fps and guys select your one more light one more time lighting and see guys that's my angle angle i like 20 that's for my shadow blurriness so guys click yeah and guys click on here yes okay see guys that's my lighting is good and but guys shadow is not visible so guys select this one that's my base plane and increase size like this more yeah and guys select your plane go to on here and single guys see that's my visibility and guys shadow catcher check yes and guys preview and guys click on here yes see guys that's my beautiful shadow right it's looking really good okay so guys my animation is finished and now guys i create 
render so guys go to on here and guys 24 fps guys you see that's my output so guys create new folder like a render and enter guys and it take file name and accept check yes guys i show you my simple one frame render see guys that's my transparent png format file render so guys close so guys go to our here like 256 256 that's my render image and guys render render image check yeah see guys that's my simple render okay so guys my render is finished now guys close so guys after render go to on one more time after effect and project and right click import and import file guys see that's my render clips select your this one that's my render select and import so guys drag and drop on after effect like this and guys see that's my camera uncheck and guys see that's my preview check yes see guys that's my beautiful compositing right see guys that's my beautiful shadow right okay so guys all is good my final work is finished guys it's really simple and best tutorial for beginners 